Hey guys, it's Nick from Part-Time Pilot. We're gonna continue on talking about VORs. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to determine your exact position using a VOR and a DME. So you can find your exact location when you're lost with a VOR and a DME, or you can find it with two VORs, which we showed you how to do in our last video, which you can check out by clicking in the top right right now if you wanna go check that out. But if you have a, so if you have two VORs, working VORs, you can find your exact location. And if you have a VOR with a DME, you can also find your exact location because it gives you that distance information. So this is my preferred method to find my location. It's easier than dialing in two different VORs, making sure that they both work, listening to both Morse codes, drawing the lines on your map, all that stuff. This is much easier. A VOR DME and a Vortec both have DMEs. So you just need to find a VOR station on your map that you're nearby that is either a VOR DME or a Vortec. To find your location using a VOR and DME, you're gonna determine your relative position using one VOR with a from indication as discussed in our previous video, which again, you can click and watch that video in the top right. It's popping up for you to watch that. It tells you how to use the to from, how to use the VOR needle, whether it's centered or not to determine your relative position. So all we have to do is we have to just turn the, the OBS until we get the needle centered with a from indication, and that tells us what radial we're on. So now we can just look at our VOR on our map, our VOR compass rows on our map, and then draw out from the radial that we are centered on, and we know that our aircraft is somewhere on this line. But we don't know how far along this line we are. That's where the DME comes into play. So what we're gonna do is using the DME instrumentation in our aircraft, we're gonna dial in the DME frequency into that instrumentation. And here, it's gonna be just like, we're gonna find that frequency, it's gonna be the same frequency as a VOR station listed in the comm box. And then this right here is going to be our DME. So we have our frequency dialed in there, and then we're gonna have our distance that it tells us right there. So all we have to do is dial that in, and then we'll get a distance. So now we have a distance from the station, and we know the what radial we sit on from the station, and that will give us the exact location of our aircraft on this line. So in this example, we turned our OBS until we got a from indication and the needle centered, and we found that it's centered on 330. So we know we're on the 330 radial, somewhere along that. Then we tuned our DME to 115.3, which is the same as the VOR frequency, and saw that it read 18.6 nautical miles. So then all we have to do is measure using our plotter tool on our sectional chart, 18.6 nautical miles away from the VOR station on that 330 radial, and we can find our exact aircraft location on that radial line. 